tunnel, led by Haskell, they suddenly stopped. Haskell asked the others if they could hear the noise that he could hear. What they heard was the sound of someone being dragged along the tunnel. They got halfway down where it split four ways. Haskell said, They'd done this in order to fool people who were unwelcome down here. Many people died being lost down here. made contact with a different spirit. Oh, this poor young man, he's screaming for his life. I believe that this young man's disappearance is the cause of all the hauntings in your home. He's leading me down the third tunnel. So off they went, down the third tunnel, with only Lord McAllister's torch for light. Stones mysteriously appeared to fly past them, like they were thrown deliberately at them. said, in these tunnels were cannibals. They were also members of a devil worshipping group. They dug these tunnels many years before your family built the castle. Lord and Lady McAllister stood there open mouthed. That's the reason your father bricked up the dungeons. cannibals and their children were tunneling their way into the castle and taking victims to sacrifice to the devil and then eat them. Lord McAllister was shocked. It makes sense now. My grandfather and uncles mysteriously vanished in the 40s. It wasn't until 1960 when father inherited the castle and bricked up the dungeon. Haskell made contact again with the young man's spirit and said his name is Hamish McAllister Jr. and he was the first person to be killed by these horrible evil people. They tortured him before he was sacrificed in the circle pit. After that they tunnelled into the castle and grabbed the first person they saw and sacrificed them and ate them. Poor souls are buried underneath our feet. Haskell was drawn to a spirit portal. He says a prayer and closes it, thus getting rid of the evil spirits. Finally, the poor souls can finally rest in peace. <laughs> 